Hey, I'm Jeremy. Welcome to 1111 Overland. My garage is a mess. After getting back from my last trip to Moab with Chris, his daughter Michaela, and my daughter Lola, I uh, made an effort to try and unload the Jeep, but I haven't done a very good job of kind of putting everything back. And I'm in the middle of a couple of projects, like building a platform to mount my refrigerator on and some sliders and things like that. But I have to make a little bit of room on the floor here because I'm getting a delivery today. And it's something I'm pretty excited about. Welcome. Howdy. Probably, probably find a way to manhandle it down. But So this is the CVT, or Cascadia Vehicle Tents, Mount Washington tent. It is a hard shell, aluminum, rooftop tent. And I gotta say, I got this one for a fantastic, fantastic deal. Um, this is not a sponsored video, but I did, uh, I did reach out to them and say I, I, I'm looking for a tent, this is what I was describing, and I didn't think a tent like this existed. Um, anyway, enough dilly dally. Let's, uh, let's get this thing open and, and take a look at it. Kind of hard to see in the harsh light, but looks pretty good. What I'm not clear on is where do I start? Um, I always had my last rooftop tent, which is hanging up in the ceiling up there, the free spirit. I had rooftop tent experts helping me mount it, give me the, showed me how to put it on, showed me how to take it off, showed me how to open it up and put it back down, things like that. They gave me the full tutorial. This one, I think I understand enough about them that it shouldn't be a problem, but it is making me wonder, where do I start? Like, I assume there's some instructions in there somewhere. There's probably gotta be some things I need to put together or something. There's two extra boxes here, which I assume are maybe roof rails. So where are the instructions for those? Maybe I'll crack those boxes open next and see what I can find. CBT was also running a promotion on their website. If you spent over $1,000, they would give you a free shower, changing room, privacy thing. So that's what this bag is over here. Um, I haven't set it up yet. What is this? Move and lock. Is this a foot peg? Interesting. Okay. What is this? Rainfly, maybe? I don't see any instructions. Here's another. Maybe foot peg? What's inside here? It could be anything. A hammer? Some guy lines? And some stakes? So apparently that's for, maybe this is for like an awning or something. I thought this thing didn't come with an awning. 
or maybe this came with an awning. It said in the listing that it did not include the awning, but maybe that's what this is. Maybe I got a free awning out of this thing too. This is getting better and better by the minute. All right, so I'm assuming these are the crossbars then. This uh, tent is supposed to have uh, load bars. One of the things I was looking for was not only a tent that I could mount some solar panels to, to help keep my internal electronics powered, but also something that would allow me to put a, like a kayak on the top or something like that too. No instructions. These definitely look like load bars and some weather stripping to go in them. So, there'll be a question of how to mount those and where to mount those. I'm assuming there's some hardware. There must be hardware and instructions inside the tent. I'm starting to regret the location I put this thing in. I think uh, it's, I think it's gonna open this way, which means that if I have to flip it open, the, my lift is gonna be in the way a little bit, so. Trying to reorganize stuff a little bit. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try and scoot it this way a bit to let me get into it a little better because I, I can't find instructions anywhere. So I've got to believe that there's some instructions inside the tent. I just gotta open this thing up to find them. So here we go. Oh, yeah. This elastic here kind of makes it so that the tent corners stay in, but it's also kind of holding this back from going in. Maybe I can move it up like that. Do you see them in there? I see a few things down in there. It looks like there might be even more crossbars in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this. And then I could go in from the side. Velcro windows, maybe? These are crossbars that feel identical to the other ones. <laughs> what is that? Some elastic. Some metal bars that feel very similar to the ones that were on the outside. think is the, the fly. The bag of goodies. Another bag of goodies. Some more rubber seals. A box. Is that a light? Comes with a little lantern. USB light. Okay. Hello. Anything else in here? Uh. All right, let's see what's in this little bag. This looks like Tent mounting hardware. Those are the things you usually put on load bars. Plenty of these little T-nuts and some quick releases. 
since we have the front runner quick disconnects, we probably won't need anything in this bag. So, maybe this is the hardware for attaching the crossbars on the roof. It comes with a ratcheting 13 wrench. Do you know how often I lose my ratcheting 13? What a great bonus. Chrome vanadium. Okay. There's a ratcheting 13 wrench and what Christmas here. Yeah, that's gotta be what those are. That's gotta be those load bar attachments. And then a bunch of hardware in there. Okay, so we'll have to, but no instructions. So it looks like we're gonna be figuring this out on our own. Interesting project. So I've got the brackets on the crossbars. And I'm just putting these um, rubber gaskets or whatever in to, you know, fill the void and make sure that there's no uh, there's there's no wind whistling. I figured out a pretty good system for getting these little rain gutter rubber fillers in. Um, it's got a groove on either side of them, okay, and that needs to go and basically pinch onto either side of this channel. And if you just put your thumb here and wiggle back and forth this way, it actually fits. It goes really nicely in there. You don't have to worry about trying to like force it in. It also helps if you do it in the sunshine because the rubber is nice and pliable. So yeah, pretty easy. So this probably looks horrible, but I'm gonna show you what I've got done so far. I've got the crossbars, the load bars put on. I uh, put it up on jack stands so I can access the tray, the uh, tracks underneath, and that way I'll be able to put the mounting things on. I put this window up with the little bars, and same for the front awning. The ladder's just kind of resting there. You can kind of see how much space is in there. Um, those are for the little crossbars to keep them from collapsing. I didn't want to climb inside because it's just up on jack stands. It's not secured. Um, so I didn't put those in yet. On this side, I rolled up the window to see how that looked compared to having the one, uh, like on the other side with the little support poles. And in here, I started to open the little skylight, but you can kind of see the inside so initial reaction is not bad. Um, the size of the tent feels like it's about the same as last time. The mattress thickness feels about the same as my previous tent. Um, there's some pros and cons. The, I think the Free Spirit was really easy to set up uh, because you just flipped it open and then put out the little you know, opening awning and locked it in place and you were done. Uh, however, it took strapping it all on, you know, the cover strapped on in 10 different places. You had to go all the way around the Jeep to unstrap it all. So I think from a setup standpoint, it'll probably be about the same. It'll just, it's the same amount of time. It'll just be different. With this one, I unlatched two latches, opened it up, and then I'm gonna spend some time putting in these little bars and things to kind of prop open, you know, some of the various spaces. It'll be interesting to see if the fabric it feels significantly different because this is not the same all-weather fabric, uh, kind of a multi-layer insulated fabric that I'm used to in my Free Spirit tent. But, you know, if I'm sleeping with an electric blanket in the cold or a good sleeping bag, you know, on a regular night, I shouldn't have a problem with temperature. Overall, should be interesting and I'm excited to get it on the Jeep and see what it looks like.
Well, it's been several days. I've been working hard on getting the tent ready. I had a couple buddies come over and help me lift it up onto the Jeep and get it in place. Really happy with how it looks. Um, the install went really, really smoothly. Those front runner uh, quick disconnects are amazing. I'll put a link to those in the description uh, so you can play around with those and, and go take a look at those. It's a really nice way to get a rooftop tent on and off. You literally clip it in, clip, 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 unclip it, slide it, pull it out. Uh, so it's a really nice system. Um, we've got the tent ready, uh, but we still have to button up the back of the Jeep and we've got a lot of projects back here. I was tempted to go with one that you could just buy off the shelf, but I wanted to do something a little unique. That's a pretty nice flush install there. The compressor kind of tucked back there just fits so nicely. Here we go. So you take the rivet gun, you put the rivet in long ways. So I've just got the sliders put onto the board. Look how snug that is. If I bought an off the shelf aftermarket one, it would have been sticking out so much more. But this is just perfectly within the realm that I was hoping for. What do you think, Kate? I'm excited. Are you? Yes. All right, let's go. It might go Does that up. look intriguing? Yeah. Whoa, the cave? It has water pouring out of it. National parks are incredible. Look at that view, Kate. Well, in our searching for a camp spot, we found the Grafton Ghost Town. Oh, dude, you can go upstairs. Oh, that's creepy. <coughs> this is where bad things happen to good people. Be. One waterfall, two, three, four and a giant rock wall so we got our tent set up sun's still not quite down yet um, it's still pretty windy the initial storm kind of blew over us this has been and continues to be 1111 overland